Well, much of what American farmers and ranchers produce is exported to other countries. But the importance of overseas markets for U.S. agriculture is a fairly recent phenomenon. Well, the late Clayton Yider was a former U.S. Ag Secretary and a force behind the growth in international markets. University of Nebraska Lincoln journalism professor Joe Weber recently authored the Yider biography, Rhymes with Fighter, which was published earlier this month. Well, he now joins us now for a deeper look at the book he's put out. And thank you very much for taking the time to chat with us here today. So what can you tell us about Clayton Yider and, of course, also the impact that he's had on trade, especially in regard to agriculture? He was an extraordinary man, just an absolutely extraordinary man. He grew up in the Depression in a little town called Eustis, Nebraska, had a small family farm, and he rose from there to go to the law school, get a doctorate in economics at UNL. And then he, then he went into government and he wound up serving four presidents. He was in the cabinets of two of them, uh, Ronald Reagan and the elder uh, George Bush. Um, and, and one of the charges that he had when he worked for Reagan uh, was to go out and change the world. That's what, what one of the aides told him he had to do. And he did that at U, as U.S. trade representative. And he literally did change the world. I mean, much of the products that we wear, the iPhones that we use, the, the globalism, globalism that has occurred is thanks to, to Clayton Yider. And in terms of the ag se sector, he opened up U.S. agriculture to global trade. Um, he opened up closed markets all around the world. He encouraged farmers to look beyond our borders. And really, it was a sea change in U.S. agriculture. What was it that allowed Mr. Yider to make, or Secretary Yider even, to make such a big impact, not just on agriculture, but beyond? Well, a lot of it was his personality. Um, he was a Midwesterner. He was able to get along with people. Um, it, and frankly, it's the kind of cross the aisle uh, collaboration that we don't see today. You know, people are at each other's throats in the, in the two parties. That wasn't the case when Yider was, was working for Reagan and when he was working for the elder Bush. He was able to find common ground with people and they would move forward on things like farm bills. Um, they, they'd find common ground and they'd work together. He also had an ability when he worked overseas to work with these foreign leaders um, and build rapport with them. One of the biggest things that he did, for instance, was open a lot, a lot of the Japanese market. Uh, to American industry. And Japan at the time was very much a trade adversary. It was kind of like the China of the current era. And he was able to bridge that gap. A lot of it was personality. A lot of it was simply just hard work, too. He really put in the time. Joe, what would you say is Clayton's legacy? His legacy is globalism. His legacy is the expansion of world trade, which has enriched so many countries and helped so many people around the world, including the American farm world. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Congratulations on pulling all this information together. We certainly appreciate it. University of Nebraska and Lincoln journalism professor Joe Weber connecting with us. You can go online to yiderinstitute.unl.edu for additional information.